Good morning, it's great to be here. My name is Dave Larson. I'm from Africa Media Online. We're based in Peter Marisburg, South Africa. And um, yeah, so we are an organization that is dedicated to Africans telling Africa's story. And we do high-end digitization, and then we also have a digital asset management system as part of a digital trade route enabling uh, organizations to get their content from their um, cupboard to the audience they want to reach. And part of that is also this um, digital asset management system we call MEMAT. And we've begun to build IIIF um, competencies into the MEMAT system. Um, and particularly in our cataloging and our presentation layer, um, we have this sort of layered system um, for digital asset management. And we're also trying to um, set up an ISO 16363 accredited um, uh, uh, digital repository. Um, it has a, a server room uh, which is in a separate building with biometric access and, and so on and so forth from a backup room, entirely separate building with, with um, a, a connection between the two. Obviously we're doing it on a quite a small scale compared to what most of these institutions will be doing, but it's kind of the first one in, in South Africa and I believe probably in Africa. Um, last conference in Washington I presented us um, how we had implemented IIIF in the ANC archive, the African National Congress archive. And um, so particularly when one is uh, not logged into the system, this is a, a very big project that we undertook. And we uh, under over 1.8 million pages, 100,000 photographs. Um, and when one is not logged into the system and tries to take a closer look at a particular item, um, you know, you have to log in. And then I've just logged in now, and now you can see um, the universal viewer, and we can kind of zoom into um, it, everything that you know about. Um, and so then we've also started to take this um, capacity, which we started with the ANC archive, and build it into other collections that we also manage. So this is Lily's Leaf, which was um, one of the the Liberation Route um, collections, uh, UKZN archive. We've done quite a lot of work with historic schools as well, um, so building digital archives for them. So yeah, we have a, a range of clients from privates um, to, to um, uh, institutions, government, and, and so on and so forth. So with the help of Digirati, we've also added the ability to search within manuscripts. Um, and, and so when you do a search across all the manuscripts on the system, as soon as you dive down into one of the manuscripts, the search is there already. So it's already looking for that. And then we have, we've also built uh, Universal Viewer into our gallery system. So you can, as the administrator, you can create a whole lot of galleries, uh, pull content together to create a gallery. And then if you're not logged in, then you can only see a slideshow of the kind of fr front cover of the manuscript or whatever it might be. But as soon as you log into the system, then uh, it allows you to access um, uh, the Universal Viewer and take a closer look at the manuscript. And this has been our defaults because many of the um, collections that we are involved in kind of want that sort of control over the access um, that they give to, to various clients. They kind of want to know who's actually looking at their um, manuscripts. But I'll show you a, a, a bit later how we've actually put the control into their hands. They can give it open access if they want. So this is our, um, our metadata application. I'm in here as the administrator. I've drilled down through the archive and I'm assigning some material to a remote metadata capture. Now I'm logged in as the metadata capture and I can start to add metadata to the item. And again, we've built in the universal viewer to allow um, the person who's doing the metadata capture to take a really close look at that item. And then once they have completed their, um, their metadata capture, they commit the work, and now we're back with the administrator. And here's the administrator taking a, a look at what has been captured against a particular item. And here we're actually in, in the, uh, another 
collection, and this is these are David Goldblatt's images, and um, and so the admi the administrator can kind of zoom in on that image and just check that the capture has done the right kind of work to it. Yeah. So now I just want to show you how we've actually also managing um, how to control the kind of access that we can give to people. So this is the standard, obviously. Um, I need to log in to be able to then zoom into the item and view the, the um, universal viewer. Um, but in the back end, I, as the administrator, um, I can start to kind of access um, uh, the back end and give it different permissions. And I'll show you that in a, a moment. So here I am just logged into the back end, and there's a little drop down. And we built this in uh, WordPress because so many of our clients are just familiar with the WordPress back end. It was really helpful just to, they, they feel like they're in home territory when, when they're using WordPress. And here now I'm logged in, I, I've changed the permissions, I'm not logged into the system, and now I can immediately view the universal viewer. Then we have one other option that we've also added to the system, and that is um, using defaults, you have to be logged in, but then being able to choose, so user specific, choose a particular user and give them open access to it, which is what this is demonstrating here. Um, so yeah, just being able to give multiple levels of access and putting that in the control of, of um, the administrators of the system. And then, the, yeah, there are plenty of other improvements we want to do to the system. There's so much in this IIIF community that really excites us. And so with the Mirador viewer, we're wanting to build that in um, to, to our selections. Um, we also want to build in uh, the, the the AV ability um, and many other exciting developments that we're seeing here at the IIIF conference. Thanks so much.